Welcome, gamers, to episode seven of this Let's Play of Deity Empires. My name is Daz Tactic. Welcome to the channel. And uh, in this episode, we're going to be having a look at constructing items. I think it's sort of what we've maybe sort of themed this one on. There's a few little things we spoke about in the last one about prospecting and how things worked. One thing I forgot to mention actually was the gem production and gem prospecting. There's different things you can do with this as well. Like there's, you've got different ways of actually handling this one. So we've, we're now getting our prospecting specialization up. You can see that we've got prospecting specialist level three to level four. Now this is actually done inside the um, up through here. So we're sort of just rattling on through this this particular one through here. I'm just going, and so each each increase we get, we have a much better chance of then finding some loot in different locations. So I want to specialize in prospecting all the way through. That's prospecting is going to be quite important to us. Now, not only do you find um, goods as you sort of go through, not only do you find uh, like items which I can't really show on the screen just yet. <laughs> I think I just I'll, I'll come back to that in just a second. But anyway, we found ourselves an energy magic gem. So that's actually been found back at Dasburg, back underneath in, in through there. And in fact, if we just get rid of that now. So it's turn 171. So we're certainly into the middle middle game now. The prospector is finding different sorts of things in through here. There's the prospector right there. And so he's actually looking around this particular area and he found a an actual magical gem. And the magical gems can be the, then used for different sorts of things. If we go across to the deities, we've only found one other, other player, by the way, uh, Pachamama. I don't know um, anything at all about this particular character other than the fact that it's mainly nature spells. So, um, and I'm assuming it's not going to be good either. Like it'll be probably just neutral. I forget what um, what faction. They're neut yeah, neutral with a, as a, with a conqueror personality. Uh, they, they hold 4% of the population. What have we got? We've got three. So we've got less population, but I, I like where we are. Here we go. Look at all these magic gems that, we've, that our prospecting has, has uh, now rewarded us. So we've got like one nature gem, one energy gem, which we just picked up, one holy gem, and one alteration gem as well. So eventually over time, we can then sort of find more and more of these in the um, like with our prospectors, but we can also mine for them specifically as well. So there's different different things we can then go and do. And then these can then be used to help create different items. So that's the main thing that we sort of would be wanting the gems for. So we'll just close that one for now. And so we'll mainly be talking about that in this particular episode. So um, the prospectors are now so good that they're actually now finding all sorts of things. Every, every time we turn around, there's something else that they've actually now sort of located. And so our workers are trying to keep up with what they can then produce. All right. So, um, and we do want to keep on doing that all the way around these hilly terrain. The, the hills give us by far the best best chance. We saw this in the last episode. The hilled trees, not so much, but with these other changes, they should be okay. We've got prospectors back out through here as well now. So they're sort of, I've got a few of these just on, on automatic where they're just automatically sort of creating different, uh, different locations for us. But um, in the mountains, we'll just keep on sort of searching for things as well. So... We only have one prospector per city and only if we build the right sort of buildings for them. And we'd probably be wanting to ultimately do that just so we can actually really have prospectors going everywhere. Okay, so let's continue on. Uh, the items. Now, Dasberg we saw some time ago that we can create some items in through here. Now, when we go in, uh, the first one by default will then come up with displaying weapons equivalent by any unit. Just click on that one there. This is by current units. So this is probably one of the most valuable ones. This is by buildable units. So you can see there it does change a little bit. Uh, oops, did the wrong thing there. So that's buildable units. And then we're back to same aligned units. So units that are good can sort of equip these and then back to any unit again. So what's actually changing there? We, I think we're missing a, a, a unit there when we go between those ones. So the bow, this is by the current units. Yeah, we don't use a bow. So the bow is at the top there. Not that that matters that much. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go and probably start to plan things out a little bit. Like if I, for example, uh, choose uh, a ring. Uh, so we've got two different types of rings. Let's have a bit of a look at these. If I click on the ring, and actually I can't do anything else there. If I go to the ring here, I can't actually build anything. So you think, okay, well, why is that? It's because we're in the wrong location. <laughs> And I was just thinking, hang on, I'm going to be able to talk about stuff. What we can do here is if we've got the mithril, we don't have very much mithril either, to be honest, at this location, just 24. Um, let's exit the screen here and then just go across to Middleton. 
it's only got eight of ten so that's filling up as well uh, but if we then continue on even further up to Mithralton, um, actually that's only got 10, in, 10 Mithril in there as well. We are trying to build the Artificer's Workshop. Maybe I should have waited until I actually had this because I can then build things out of Mithril and out of Magic. But one of the things we actually have at the moment is we actually do have 25,000 mana, which is a hell of a lot of mana. It, or it seems like a hell of a lot of mana, but it, in actual fact, it's not that much. Let's just go back up in here. This this particular location has got, in the building trees, it does actually have the um, Artificer's Workshop, which allows us to build magical items. And so this is actually where we would then go and build this. So we go to Create Item in here, and now we have a look at the rings, and we now have all of these different magical aspects to them that we can then go and build. Now, we saw there before when we were building the Mithril uh, equipment that that was mainly to do with armor, any of the armors and any of the shielding. That was pretty much all that it would actually give us. If we can find adamantine, it's going to be mainly to do with weaponry. So there'll be different things depending on what we're actually going for. But in this case, I can actually build whatever I sort of need. Like if I go to a helm, I'm going to have different sorts of aspects about what we can then do. You'll see that some of these have got like a mesmer mesmerizing aura, which you can't build, and mind control immunity. These are both ones we can't build, but we do have illuminate. So if we actually go and click on that one, it tells us that what we need to do this one is we need to have eight of these sort of death gem type things. We've got zero of them. We need 45,000 mana. We've got 25,000. Mind control is uh, is going to be needing seven of those sort of gems. And illuminate requires uh, no gems, actually, or does it? No, it requires one, one holy gem. And so this one needs five, uh, we need five of the adamantine, five mana, uh, sorry, five mithril and fifteen thousand to get illuminate. Uh, so we've actually got enough there for each for each of these. So this is where we're using the special gems, usually for these certain sorts of things back over here. Now, if we right click on illuminate, what does that one do? Adds one more or higher levels to a unit spotting in dungeons, so it can be cast multiple times in the same unit. It's probably not really something that we would be wanting to spend all that all that on. So we have to figure out what are we going to do because these can be quite quite expensive. I'll just unclick on that one there. So two spotting is ten thousand. Um, one spotting is two thousand five hundred. Get plus fifteen uh, plus fifteen mana for this helm is going to be nine thousand a mana, which is um, it gives us a lot of extra mana that we can then make use of. You got magic resistance, magic levels back and through here. That's sixteen thousand to get one of those. And so uh, that could be useful. The armor chances and then the max armor in through there as well. The max armor is another 10,000 mana. So you can see that you really can spend the mana very, very quickly when you start to build these particular items. Uh, if we go and change an item, we'll have different sorts of things. Like the boots will have a, a different sort of aspect to it. This has got a lot more. So the mud walkers, for example, requires one of these sort of gems. I forget which one that actually was. Um, so um, I'll just get rid of that one. The battle sprint. Is only just mana actually. So battle sprint, like with on those boots, does, we don't need to have anything special there. A few of these other ones, if we really wanted to get like mountaineer, for example, uh, we need seven nature gems, which we don't actually have. Um, again, n minimal mana on the boots because it's not really dealing with the head. So the, even the even those things are actually um, are themed, but battle moves are up, actually up there. Initiative is up there as well. Like to get plus two battle moves is eight thousand. That wouldn't be bad on some units. Like that could be to have a um, to have like a stalwart that can actually move at six rather than just two uh, would be very very nice. That would actually be fairly good actually. So we can start to plan how we're going to then build our, our characters. These rings also will have different aspects. These are up to plus 12 mana on these particular rings. Uh, extra health. Plus one health is not really all that much. It's only 2,000 to get it. And we can sort of get like multiples together, like that one there. If we got both the 12 mana plus the health, that's sort of what we would end up. I think this is per, per unit in the actual stack itself. I think it's so it may still be worthwhile. Getting the battle moves takes us over what we can actually afford. But we can sort of build a ring that does all three of those different site types of things. Just go back to change the item. Now the second ring is actually different again. These are there's two different types of rings. So they've still got the like the 12 mana. There's the health and the and only one battle moves up and through this side. This one's got extra range extra spotting. So it's got a few other different bits and pieces. Invisibility down through here, requiring eight of those sort of gems. I don't know what sort of gem they actually are. Um, and uh, the amulets back in through here as well. So spotting, 
Uh, you can have void orbs if you've got four of these gems, which I don't know what type they actually are. I don't know if it'll tell us. No, it won't actually tell us what it is. It's okay. Just move it, actually, I'll just get back in there again. Um, then you've got all your armor. Again, the armors will then have different things as well, like where they can actually have different sorts of resistances if you sort of need it. Now, these should actually then have, yeah, different sorts of gems required. You need a lot of them. <laughs> but we can build gem mines to try to, to, try to extract the gems. Uh, plus one heal potion storage. A lot of this stuff is not really worth the cost, to be honest. And you can see they're less of mithril. When we get this new... Uh, way of, of storing the mithril we're going to be able to then build these much much better so i'm going to hold off before i do anything to do with magic but in reality i'm probably going to use the mana to actually then go and generate mana for my for my um for the units that actually do require it and so what we can do is we can actually just go through our our list of uh, of units and just have a bit of a think about what we're going to then go and do so uh, we can sort it by different aspects as well we can also click on this little thing just to blow it up a little bit so we can sort of see it uh, more a bit more clearly um and through into the point where we then get like a list of of what they actually all are and so, um, so you've got like different ways of showing these as well. And so, to sort of see what's going on through here, we can. This is by the unit, ex, uh, the unit um, experience, uh, unit strength back and through this side. So we can start to sort of see um, where they are now. It's saying Rexager is dead. This is actually our god. The Iron Golem is actually now beyond the level of Rexager. Rexager we haven't brought onto the onto the field. Rex, Rexager is in the void, sort of working from the void. We've got Termeg, then we have the, 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 the Stalwart. So the Stalwart would be a good one for us to focus on for more the weaponry side of things. The Halberdier, the Priest, this particular Priest is, um, is one of the highest level of the magical units that we have. We don't have tremendously magical characters, but having good uh, healing will actually be very, very cool with these guys. So if we have a look at, at this particular Priest, I don't know which one it actually was. If we just go back to the units again and just right click on it. So you can see that he's already got he's already got boots, stalwart boots of mana. So he's getting a bit of a boost with that one there. That's giving him one mana. <laughs> so it's not really worth a hell of a lot. He does have the body armor, the stalwart robe, which just gives him a bit of armor chance. Again, nothing much there. He does have a small shield in through this side as well, which is which we built for him of superior mithril. And uh, we then actually have this uh, hit chance of two coming through with his mace if he does require it. We found we found all of these things except we built the shield. In the what we can now do is we can go to the rings, the two different types of rings, the silver and the gold rings, if we wanted to, and and the amulet. They're the three different things, and the and the helms. These are all aspects we could build if we wanted to get even more mana. So we can get up to fifteen mana for him if we build a a, a helmet of of mana. Which would give him. There's also other things. He's only got like the lesser heal at the moment. If you have a look and see what else comes, the Death Ward is. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'll worry about that one so much. Small shield. Yeah, there's. We've got mana plus fifteen. Oh, we we chose that one. So we chose that one with his with one of his level ups. All right. So if we go and have a look again at what we can then go and build again back up this way, at Mithralton. Create items. So with those three things in mind, we've got the helm, the ring, the boots, and the amulet. So the amulet is only going to give us up to plus 12 mana, which is going to cost... Actually, that's not that much to get um, to get like 5,700. Um, we get extra initiative. We get spotting. Range. Plus one range. What's that going to do? That's going to cost a lot more. Just to, uh, just to use the mana for that, which I don't think I'll bother with. The health per unit is actually, again, it's going to cost me a fair bit to get that one. I actually think I'm happy with just getting one of these, a 12, a 12 mana item. So let's go and create this item. I, I think we want to do this. I might just have a quick look at the others. This ring, we can get up to 12 mana as well. Almost the same sort of stuff in through there. Again, the 12 mana here is the same cost. Just change the item. This ring here, we can get up to 12 mana. And um, I mean, we get different sorts of things in through here. Again, same cost. So I can get like a lot of mana on these on these guys. And then finally we have the helm, which d did give us, actually, where is that? It's funny, I thought the helm, I thought the helm we could, yeah, 15 mana there, 9,000. 
For the sake of doubling what that one actually did do, I think we just stick with the 12 and not worry too much about the about this particular one in through here. A mesmerizing aura. Yep, beginning of each round we'll put combatants to sleep for one round. It has to be right next to us for that to happen. So I think what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll change the item back to a, an amulet. And we'll just make this into a plus 12 mana amulet. And so we'll create that item. All right, so that's now been created. We'll get that one next turn. And I don't specifically need to have much more. I, haven't, I really haven't been using the healing as much as what I've, I need to. The healing spells. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to... If we have a, another look at... Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to use the spells as such. Let's just go back and have another look at this at this other this secondary unit. He also has the same same sort of deal. He also has the same sort of mana. So he's secondary to what we've actually got. Is he the same one that we just looked at? He's the, he's a different one actually. We've already got an amulet there. This is a, an amulet of seven mana. So I won't get rid of that one. But we could build some rings to to give him. Uh, we also haven't built a shield for him. So we could go and build that as well to get the actual to to, to get the superior mithril shield. So we're in a position to do that. Uh, what we'll do through here is we'll just go across back to the location again and create item. In this case, we'll just go and grab one of these rings and we'll just make it into a plus twelve mana ring. Create the item. And the next thing we want to do is again just back up through here is to grab this unit here which is full of mithril so all the mithril's been going into here and we're just going to tell it to enter the portal and it'll then appear here we can then tell it to offload everything that it's got so it's now offloaded into dasberg it's now got a hundred mithril in dasberg through there so we can now go and create a um, that small shield of superior mithril so we'll uh, create that item all right and um and then we'll just go down and uh, go back and exit that one again and then just go and tell it to offload the rest of that and then just enter the portal again and go back to sleep and it'll then just pick up the extra. We're wasting the mithril at, the, at this point in time. So we'll uh, put that one back just to sentry duties and I can go and build another piece of equipment uh, either armor. So again, if we have a look at the actual units that are in here, like the cannon can use just basic body armor. It doesn't actually use anything special. Uh, this is very, very slow moving. And ultimately, what I want to do is get this to level 10 and then just leave it back in a city somewhere. So I probably don't really want to be focusing on that one so much. The stalwart, we don't have a helmet for it yet. And I don't think we can build that out of mithril. You've got medium body armor, but I, yeah, medium body armor is all we can actually sort of use with him. That's okay. Um, Halberdier has got what he needs as well. Yep, that's okay. The baby red dragon can't carry anything at all at this stage. The baby red dragon is getting close to level 15. It's still going to take a little, little bit of time before he gets that, that gets there. At 15, he becomes a young red dragon, and we can then sort of continue on. Now, we're, we're carrying a lot of stuff at the moment uh, on board, but we, really we're doing so well now with our, with our production that, um, yeah, we don't need to worry too much about trying to get things back. So they're all pretty good, actually. I'm just thinking what I might just do is... Um, We've done this small shield. I might go and have a quick look and see if it, if we can do anything with the mithril. Create items. The helms we can't do anything with. The boots we don't have any mithril aspects to those either. It really does it does come down to things like robes and stuff like this. Um, and I'm pretty sure we actually had both of those done. Yeah, that's got the robe. That's just a, a lowly old armor chance thing. Your mana value is just very, very low, low mana. Whereas the other one, I think that we ended up building this one. Oh no, we didn't actually, we found that as well. I might grab 
one of a mithril robe like this and then swap them around a little bit. So we'll go and... Um, is that a dungeon? Yeah, it is a dungeon. So we'll, we'll go back in and, and finish off this dungeon as well. I'm just trying to clear out this for when we get our next settler so we can start to sort of move into this part of the um, part of the world. So one, two, three. Yep, in there would be would be pretty good just to sort of grab that area. Or one, two, three. If I move to there, one, two, three, one, two, three. That would actually be a, a better spot. So we might actually focus on this one in here. I've got a few low level areas and I just want to keep like one just so I can very quickly go back and destroy it uh, just so we can open that territory up so um, so yeah with these guys these guys don't use any sort of actually they use light armor light armor there we go well in that case in that case is he light armor? yeah they're both light armor so they're already using stuff that's not really the best for them anyway so we'll just go back across into Dasburg and um, if we go across to create item, or actually, the, one of the things, if we do look at light armor, we can only build the mithril stuff in here anyway. Let's just leave that for one second and have another look at, um, at Mithrilton, at uh, what we can actually build if we, if we, with the magical abilities and light armor. So if we have a look at light armor through there, we can actually go and get different resistances. Uh, not that we need it. So we'll be able to get like all the superior mithril and, and supreme mithril and things like this we'll be able to get fairly soon. Now the supreme mithril requires 250. That's all right. Um, avoidance, armor chances, max armor. I'm happy enough to leave what we've got. We don't need extra pockets. Plus one magical level. Um, that would be useful, I guess. But uh, just to change the, sort of like the, the impact of the healing. I think we'll leave it though, and we'll just go back and just build a, 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 a light armor back at Dasburg, where we do actually have the ability to do this. So light armor in through here, superior mithril, create item. Okay, done and dusted. Right, so um, how are we going for time? That's wow, I've nearly done the whole episode just talking. I uh, haven't even really played a turn, but th this is sort of what I, I want to be covering these principles and these and this information uh, before we sort of go to into th any sort of great depth. So I will just finish off this episode with this one through here. Now th we're worth ten thousand points in this side. We're trying to get our dra our dragon leveled up as much as we possibly can. It's still quite susceptible; like it's still probably the weakest of the units we actually have. Forty three health is not great. So we have to be careful where we use him. Um, yeah, we've been leveling him up with different aspects, but it's still not really, not really working all that well for him. Let's just keep on going in. So, um, yep, yeah, I'm happy enough with that one. We'll just end our turn. The stalwart I'm been pushing forward as well. It's a very, very good stack. and I'm going to need to start to get another stack of these fairly soon. Now that we're also generating a lot of income. Here they are. Can't quite do much with that one. Now this one is immune to fire, so we're going to be okay. We, like he could actually have gone straight up. And we've got the flamethrower now as well. Again, useless for those, so I'm not going to do anything there. So the baby red dragon, if you have a look at it, has got fire immunity. And these guys are attacking just with fire. So we'll move this one up just so we can use this sort of this sort of damage. Okay. Got the 
grappling hooks. I don't think I'll worry about these. Less a heel. Again, we've got very, very good mana with these with these priests. I think I'll just leave them where they are. Yeah, I won't worry. I'll, I'll let these guys finish off these. In fact, I can just leave the dragon to do it. <laughs> I'm getting the kills. sake of expediency we'll um, move this one up This one get to getting beyond level 10 as well. Not so much this one, but this one here. Good. I do need to block this off. Getting more mana here is actually a useful thing. kill for it. We're still on level 13. We've still got a long way to go to get to level 14 here. Oh, sorry, not level 14, to level 15. And that's really where we want this one to be. So all these experiences... Good, that should get us yeah, a lot closer. Now, these aren't worth all that much each. Okay, the majority of the kills were done with him. That's that's good. We'll just auto battle this one. There's four treasures on this on this level. Look, what I might do is I might call like you know we we're just going to be going through these. I don't think there's going to be anything of great interest with what will happen through this particular dungeon. Um, I don't know how many times I'll go into it. I might I might go deep. This one does go down many 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 levels, so it won't actually ramp up all that much. And I think I can just sort of sit here and milk this dungeon for until we get like another another um, settler. And then we can sort of then we can just sort of open up this area for the settlement. So let's descend, and uh, I'll leave this episode where it is. Oh, I meant to keep on. Sorry, guys, I keep on forgetting to turn off the merchandising um, aspect. So my apologies about that. I really, I, I meant to turn it on and talk about it, and then I forget about it. And I'm actually, I'll do it in the next episode as well because I'll be basically playing. I'll be recording again the, for episode eight. But 
I am actually wearing the t-shirt, and it's actually really good. Like, I really do like it. So that's the t-shirt in reality. Uh, there's the mug. I don't have the hoodie yet. That's on, the, on its way, but there's the mug there. So cheers. <laughs> And of course, you do actually have that 15% off in September. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I, I sort of, it feels so blatant having it sitting there, but I, I want to start the episodes off with that and then turn it off, and I just I just forgot. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.